top of the second inning, two nothing. Great Falls leading for them. I'm Dominic Contronio. Final game of this series of the season. These two teams wouldn't meet each other unless they were to meet in the Pioneer League Championship Series. <laughs> Leading off is Sam Dexter, the designated hitter, right-handed hitter. First pitch from Glazer is a fastball popped behind home and foul out of play. Dexter hitting 188 on the year, one homer, nine runs added in. That homer, though, came last night, a two-run shot in the top of the ninth inning that made it a one-run game. Here's the 0-1, take blow it away. One ball and one strike. From Oakland, Maine, drafted in this year's 23rd round, Maine, had, he went to the University of Southern Maine, the D3 school. The 1-1, breaking the line in the left center field, that's a hit. Gibbons hustling over to cut it off, and the ball will fall to his mitt. Dexter rounds first, and will stop there, after Gibbons fires a one-hop right in the second. So a leadoff single Sometimes for the Voyagers and Dexter. Perez and Dudo to come up, eight and nine in the Voyagers' order. Perez only hitting 125, but he has three runs batted in. He made his debut in the Pioneer League against the Owls back at Centene Stadium. And on first, nobody out. Blazer delivers a first pitch breaking ball and just poked the foul over the netting, out of play. We'll say it again, but Idaho Falls won their game today already against the Helena Brewers. So the Owls have to win tonight to keep the pace for first place in the South Division. Here's the 0-1. Breaking ball in the inner half, but call the ball. Morgan didn't get the benefit of holding it on because the runner at first, Dexter, bluffed the steal. Razor is ready. A short lead at first. Here's the 1-1. There he goes. It swung on and fouled back to the net. Just a uh, textbook hit and run there. A 1-1 count. After the leadoff man reached, he's got a contact hitter at the plate. But now it's one and two on Perez. Dexter has only been caught once this season. He's not attempted a successful stolen base this season. A pickoff at first, back diving in. Two nothing Voyagers, top of the second. The only game going on right now in the Pioneer League. Other two games later to come. The one two home. Off speed, just kind of popped up in the shallow right field. McDonald long way in. He calls off Flair, and he makes the catch in foul territory. Just crossing over the right field line, and that's the first out of this second inning. Here's Max Dudo now, the second baseman. Bottom of the order, also a slow start to his year. 143 hitter. Just one hit. from Menlo College in California. He's a native of Danville. A pick to first, not in time. Selected in this year's ninth round of the draft by the Chicago White Sox. Voyagers, 12-time Pioneer League champion. The pitch home. That's called a strike on the outside edge. 0-1 to open up the at-bat here with Dudo. Max did not play last night. Nor did he play on Friday night. But he got the start on Thursday night, the opener of the series. The 0-1, it's in the dirt, and it got by Morgan trying to slide to his right and went perfectly between his legs. Going down to second base easily is Dexter on the wild pitch. Dudo in that game on Thursday went 0 for 3 with three strikeouts. He was also hit by a pitch in that game, though. Man on second and one out. It's a one and one count here on the bottom of the order. Infield plays the lefty to pull. The one one is taken low and away. Two balls and a strike. Outfield also slightly playing him to pull. Gibbons playing toward the gap in left. Jones toward the gap in right center. He's the center fielder. McDonald is straight up in right field. The 2-1. Swung on it, popped up to center field. 
backing up on it is Jones. Now he's camps underneath it, coming back in. He makes the catch, trying to tease Dexter into maybe taking third base, but he stays put as Jemai makes the catch for the second out. But here's the top of the order of Jameson Fisher. Fisher hit a sharp one hopper to Rojas in second his first time up, but he made the play. Two gone, man on second. Voyager is leading by a pair. Fisher comes into the game hitting 330. Three homers as well on the year for him. Steps in from the left handed side. Come on, Boy, let's take it out. Scott. Take him out. They got the big second. guy. Brandon looks to second, the first pitch home. Slow breaking ball missed high. Ball one. Fisher, this is first year in pro ball from southeastern Louisiana State. Hammond, Louisiana. Going just outside of Baton Rouge in Sacramento. The one up. Swung on and line down the left field line, but it will slice foul over the fence, but out of play. Southeastern Louisiana State is in the Southland Conference. Same conference as Greg Belton and the Sam Houston State oh, Bearcats. Yes, the Southland Conference Player of the Year this year with a 424 batting average. Here's the 1 1. Fastball taken just outside. Two balls and a strike. He actually had the second best batting average in the nation for Division I Eagles baseball. And he sprinkled in 11 homers and 66 runs batted in. The lefty waits. Blazer set the righty deals to 2 1. This is low. Backhanded there by Morgan. And now it's 3 and 1 with first base open, but Mitch Roman on deck. He lined a single his last time up. Blazer doesn't walk many batters. Come on, base. 23 innings coming into today. He only walked two, but he had hit eight batters during the year. 3 1 oh. is coming outside, ball four. So there is Come on, the Dominique, walk. Dominique, I think you just jinxed With him. The second out of the inning. No runners on first and second, and two outs now for Mitch Roman. Two walks now for Glazer. That's a new season high. Righty, righty here. Roman waits. First pitch from Glazer. Fastball taken low and away for ball one. The inning began with a Dexter single for left center field. He advanced the second on a wild pitch. Then Perez flied out to right field down the line. And here's the 1 0. Breaking ball hit in the air to shallow left center. Jones jogging in. He has a read on it. Makes the catch and ends the inning. There we go. So, a zero on the board here on the top of the second, thanks to Brandon Glazer working in and out of traffic. No runs, a hit, no errors, two men left on base. To the bottom of the second, 2 nothing Voyagers on ESPN 960.